This is Carrie from Woodenville Wine Blog, and I'm in Woodenville's newest tasting room winery, Glacier View Cellars. And I'm so glad to finally meet Stephanie, the winemaker. And if you guys weren't aware, it's incredibly rare to have female winemakers. 65% of wine school graduates are female, but only 7% go on to become winemakers. There's many reasons for that, but we'll talk about that in another video. Right now, I'm pretty excited because I have a hiker boyfriend. And he's hiking right now, which is why I can be here playing in wine country. <laughs> Stephanie has some hiker meals that she specifically chose to sell for you, if you're hikers, that pair with her wines. That's What's right. going on? That's right. So oh. my two biggest passions are wine and hiking and backpacking and the outdoors. And um, every year we do a blend based on a hiking trail. Um, so for example, we have a Mailbox Peak blend. It's mm. a Cabernet uh, Merlot blend. Lake 22, um, which if you're a hiker, you know Lake 22. Um, uh, and then we also have a, a port style Enchanted mm. Valley, which is a really cool hiker or short backpack trip out on the mm. Olympic Peninsula. Um, but something that I think is really fun, our whole tasting room is based around, um, you know, the adventure. And uh, we've got a wall size topographic map of the Cascades. Oh. So it's a lot of fun. People can come and, and see where they've hiked before, come and plan a hike. Uh, we have all the green trail maps in the back. Um, we have hiking books. We sell the hiking books. Um, and plus, I can give lots of recommendations because I probably have done almost every hike in Washington. Um, but something that I like to do that's a lot of fun is I actually pair my wines with um, backpacking meals. So, for example, um, this port style, which is, it's a wonderful port. It's, it's the port for people who don't like port. It's mm -hmm. lower in residual sugar mm -hmm. and it's lower in alcohol. So it's really refreshing. You get a lot of the, mm. the, the fruit coming through. And you don't feel sluggish after you drink a little That's slug right. of it. It's <laughs> really, really wonderful. And it has flavors of kind of huckleberry and port as a tip. Um, it gives you more bang for your buck if you take it backpacking. Mm -hmm. More alcohol, less weight. Less weight, mean? yeah, smaller so, bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, so for the port, um, two meals, and these are these are things that I love. Um, I'm not making money off these meals, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but they make a creme brulee. Whoa. And it's, I mean, it's not like a canless creme brulee, but it's still pretty good. So are you tearing the package open? Are you feeding yeah, it so first actually, or what are you doing? Um, I've never seen this. What this is, so you get to, you know, you hike, you get to your camp, set up your camp, you make your meal, um, and then when it's time for dessert, you just mm. open this up mm -hmm. and you put in, and there are directions oh, here, okay. but you put in, this takes just cold water, oh. and, and it actually has a little sugar packet, but you mm. mix it all up and let it sit for a few minutes oh. and it's like kind of a pudding consistency, but it's actually delicious. Wow. Like on a bad day, I've actually opened one of these at home and eaten one. <laughs> <laughs> I so, love these true confessions yeah. from winemakers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this one is a lot of fun. And then also this one is raspberry crumble. It pairs really well with it. Um, anyway, so a lot of fun. And then we also have, uh, this is, um, gosh, Backpackers Pantry makes this. And I, mm. I'm not making money off Backpackers Pantry, but I love this company, and this pad thai is the best meal. Again, I've opened this. And up it's at vegetarian. Home. It's vegetarian. Yay. I'm a vegetarian. That's really yes. important to me. Um, but this one, it's it's a little spicy. I bring a little extra crushed red pepper and put it in. Mm. Um, wonderful backpacking meal. I can mm. eat it for four nights straight, mm. and it pairs really well with the Gruner. I have heard the Thai and Gruner go together like, yes. which is weird because Gruner's from Austria originally and I don't think they were <laughs> eating peanut covered I noodles know, back then. I know, <laughs> but it's perfect with it. And yeah. then um, another fun combination is uh, we make a wonderful uh, full bodied Sangiovese. Oh, yes. um, so still lots of cherry flavors, but it is deep and dark and rich. And um, you can pair that with a pasta primavera. <laughs> oh, so nice. anyway, it's a lot of fun. Great. Um, Thanks so much, Stephanie. Yeah, thank you. We're at Glacier View Cellars in Artisan Hill in Woodenville.